going on, guys? I'm Fredo Gomez. So, welcome to my thoughts about what I talk, like, basically tell my thoughts about, about anything, you know, about, you know, like movies, comics, you know, my favorite show. So, basically, anything, my thoughts about anything. And today is comics, and it's about uh, my other party, Phoenix Match, Comic 40, and this will contain spoilers. And, yep, I read it yesterday, so yeah. Like I said, spoilers, so if you haven't read it, skip this, and yep, okay, so anyway, let's begin. Really like this comment because, like, how much it's very relatable. So Twilight is responsible for taking, you know, Baby Spike, and at the same time, it's her first semester at, you know, the school gives the unicorns, and basically in this comment to tell, like, you know, how much stress school can cause, and at the same time taking care of a baby. And Twilight is like eight years old, like basically, or nine. And she basically has high expectations from her parents and Celestia and from her teachers because the schools are basically exclusive. It's called the school of, for gifted unicorns. And by the way, like some of the gifted unicorns are like Trixie, Lemonheart, Moon Dancer, uh, the uh, Twi Twinkle Shine, Minuet. Yeah, basically, and also there was a lot of cool OCs that are very unique, bright and colorful. I mean, yeah, there were some cool OCs. I, mean, I, I, I love this so much because like how much it's so relatable. Because you know, it just basically like school. You know, it's not going so well with the education because especially for the young kids because how much stress they're going through technically with the new like school like te like with the new tests and everything. And I'm, I can really relate to it because, you know, I'm kind of stressed out with going to school too, with the new testing and everything. It just, you know, made me go insane. And Twilight just, like, like, basically, like, lost it. Like, I love when Twilight goes mad. Like, I remember season two, how she went mad and crazy. Yeah. It's just. It's just like it's it's not good, especially for a kid that's like eight and you know going to the new school has high expectations and taking a baby at the same time. And also like this basically tells like you know the beginning of Twilight and Spike's friendship and at the end like how it was like really nice like how uh, Scrapwood said Twilight's first friend. I, mean, I thought it was really nice. I mean. I didn't really think like Spike would be Twilight's like very first friend, and I just did not expect that. And also in this comic, we learn Twilight's dad's name. His name is Nightlight, which is, I think is Night. And Twilight's mom, I think we already know her name, maybe. I if I remember correctly, it's Twilight Velvet or Velvet. I don't know. It's one of the two. Well, anyway, it's nice to know Twilight's dad's name because his name is Nightlight, and then this. Last Century, Twilight's name is Twilight Sparkle, Flashlight, and Twilight's dad's name is Nightlight. Yeah, I like that shit. Twilight Flash Century. Yeah, but anyway, this was a really nice comic. I, it's very relatable because it tells like, the stress kids go through, like young kids. And you know the responsibilities of like the stress cost of taking care of a kid. I mean, yeah, it's just especially for an eight-year-old. I mean, this is an eight-year-old taking care of a baby. I mean, it's just oh man, for Twilight, like first semester, first like first semester went horrible. I think we also saw Trixie's mother, maybe. I don't know. In the comic, I think it was Trixie. And next to her was a mother. I could be wrong, but I sure, I'm pretty sure Trixie's mother was in there. I definitely know it might have been Trixie or not, but yeah. So that's my thought about like the LMP, like Friendship Magic, Comic 40, and yeah, thanks for watching. This is very relatable. I mean, school causes stress, definitely.